The history of humanity is a long and complex story, one that stretches back millions of years and spans every corner of the globe. It is a story that began millions of years ago, with the evolution of our earliest ancestors in Africa. These early humans were not just survivors, they were pioneers, adapting to their environment and finding ways to thrive. From these humble beginnings, humans have spread across the globe, traversing deserts, mountains, and oceans. Each migration brought new challenges and opportunities, shaping the diverse cultures and societies we see today. We have developed complex societies, languages, and cultures. Our ability to communicate and collaborate has allowed us to build cities, create art, and develop technologies that have transformed our world. We have made incredible advancements in science, technology, and art. From the discovery of fire to the invention of the wheel, from the creation of the first written languages to the development of the internet, human ingenuity knows no bounds. The journey of human evolution is a testament to the power of adaptation and the interconnectedness of all living things. Our survival has always depended on our ability to adapt to changing environments and to learn from the natural world around us. By understanding our past, we can gain a deeper appreciation for who we are today. Archaeological discoveries and historical research provide us with valuable insights into the lives of our ancestors and the challenges they faced, and we can better prepare for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. As we look to the future, we must remember the lessons of the past and use them to guide our actions and decisions. Our story begins with the evolution of primates, a group of mammals that includes monkeys, apes, and humans. These early primates were the first to develop the traits that would eventually lead to the rise of humanity. Primates are a group of mammals that includes monkeys, apes, and humans. They are characterized by their large brains, forward-facing eyes, and grasping hands and feet, which allowed them to navigate the complex environments of the tropical forests. They are characterized by their large brains, forward-facing eyes and grasping hands and feet. These adaptations were crucial for their survival, enabling them to find food, avoid predators, and interact with their social groups. Primates first evolved around 85 million years ago. They lived in the trees of tropical forests, where they developed the skills and behaviors that would later be passed down to their human descendants. They lived in the trees of tropical forests, where they developed the skills and behaviors that would later be passed down to their human descendants. This arboreal lifestyle required agility, intelligence, and social cooperation, traits that continue to define us today. Around 6 million years ago, the climate in Africa began to change. The forests, which had once been vast and dense, were shrinking at an alarming rate. This transformation was driven by a combination of natural climate shifts and other environmental factors. They were being replaced by open grasslands, vast savannas that stretched as far as the eye could see. These new landscapes were a stark contrast to the dense forests that had dominated the region for millions of years. This dramatic change in environment had a profound impact on the evolution of primates. The dense canopy of the forests had provided safety and abundant food sources, but the open grasslands presented new challenges and opportunities. Some primates adapted to the new conditions, developing new behaviors and physical traits to survive in the open landscapes. They began to explore the ground more frequently, searching for food and shelter. They descended from the trees and began to live on the ground. This shift marked a significant turning point in primate evolution, as it required them to develop new ways of moving and interacting with their environment. These ground-dwelling primates were the earliest hominins, our direct ancestors. They were beginning to exhibit traits that would eventually lead to the development of modern humans. Hominins are a tribe of primates that includes humans and our extinct ancestors. This group is characterized by several key adaptations that set them apart from other primates. One of the most important adaptations of early hominins was bipedalism, the ability to walk upright on two legs. This development had far-reaching implications for their survival and evolution. Bipedalism is the ability to walk upright on two legs. This adaptation allowed hominins to move more efficiently across the open landscapes, covering greater distances with less energy. This adaptation gave hominins several advantages. It allowed them to see over tall grasses, which was crucial for spotting potential predators and locating food sources. It allowed them to see over tall grasses, giving them a better vantage point in their new environment. This ability to survey their surroundings was a key survival advantage. It freed their hands to carry food and tools, enabling them to gather and transport resources more effectively. 
This newfound dexterity was crucial for their development, and it made them more energy efficient when traveling long distances. This efficiency allowed them to explore and inhabit a wider range of environments, paving the way for the spread of early humans across the globe. Another important adaptation of early hominins was the development of larger brains. This allowed them to develop more complex tools. It also allowed for more sophisticated social interactions. As hominins evolved, their brains continued to grow larger. Their tools and social interactions became increasingly complex. The genus Homo emerged around two and a half million years ago. The genus Homo includes all modern humans and our closest extinct relatives. One of the earliest members of the genus Homo was Homo habilis. Homo habilis is known for its use of simple stone tools. It is thought to have been the first hominin to make and use tools regularly. Homo erectus emerged around 1.8 million years ago. It was the first hominin to migrate out of Africa. Homo erectus spread to Asia and Europe. This migration was made possible by a number of factors. One factor was the development of more sophisticated tools. Another factor was the ability to control fire. The control of fire allowed Homo erectus to stay warm in colder climates. It also allowed them to cook food. Cooking food made it easier to digest and absorb nutrients. This led to improved health and nutrition. It also contributed to the further development of the brain. Section 5. Encounters with Distant Kin As Homo erectus migrated out of Africa, it encountered other hominin species. This migration was a significant event in human history, marking the spread of our ancestors across different continents. The journey was arduous and filled with challenges, but it also led to fascinating encounters with other hominins who had already adapted to various environments. These included Homo neanderthalensis in Europe and Homo floresiensis in Indonesia. Each of these species had unique adaptations that allowed them to thrive in their respective habitats. The interactions between these species and Homo erectus were complex and varied, ranging from competition to possible interbreeding. Homo neanderthalensis, also known as Neanderthals, were a closely related species to Homo sapiens. They shared a common ancestor with us and had many similarities in terms of physical characteristics and behavior. Neanderthals were robust and well-suited to the harsh climates of Ice Age Europe. They lived in Europe and parts of Asia from about 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. During this time they developed a rich culture and sophisticated tools. Their ability to adapt to different environments was remarkable, and they left behind a legacy that continues to intrigue scientists today. Neanderthals were well adapted to cold climates. They had stocky bodies which helped them conserve heat, and they wore animal skins to protect themselves from the freezing temperatures. Their survival strategies were highly effective allowing them to endure the harsh conditions of the Ice Age. They had a larger brain size than modern humans. This larger brain size has led to much speculation about their cognitive abilities. Some researchers believe that Neanderthals were capable of complex thought and had a level of intelligence comparable to that of early Homo sapiens. Neanderthals made and used tools, controlled fire and hunted large animals. Their tool-making skills were advanced, and they used a variety of materials to create implements for hunting and daily life. Fire was a crucial part of their survival providing warmth protection and a means to cook food. There is also evidence that they buried their dead and may have had symbolic thought. Burial practices suggest a level of social and cultural complexity, indicating that Neanderthals had rituals and possibly beliefs about the afterlife. This aspect of their behavior continues to be a subject of intense study and debate. Homo floresiensis, nicknamed the hobbit, was a small-bodied hominin species that lived on the island of Flores in Indonesia from about 100,000 to 50,000 years ago. Their discovery has provided valuable insights into the diversity of hominin species and their adaptations to different environments. Homo floresiensis stood only about 3 feet 6 inches tall and had a small brain size. Despite their small stature, they were capable of making tools and had a unique way of life that was well suited to their island environment. Their existence challenges our understanding of human evolution and highlights the incredible adaptability of our distant kin. Section 6. The Fall of the Other Humans Despite their adaptations, these other hominin species eventually went extinct. The reasons for their extinction are still debated. However, it is likely that competition with Homo sapiens played a role. 
Homo sapiens emerged in Africa, around 300,000 years ago. They spread to other parts of the world, including Europe and Asia. This led to competition for resources and territory. Homo sapiens may have also introduced diseases to which other hominin species were not immune. The extinction of these other hominin species left Homo sapiens as the sole surviving human species. Section 7. Alone in a Crowded Universe? The extinction of other hominin species is a reminder of the fragility of life. It is also a reminder of the unique place that Homo sapiens occupies in the natural world. As the only surviving human species we have a responsibility to protect our planet and its biodiversity. We also have a responsibility to learn from our past. By understanding how our ancestors adapted to changing environments, we can better prepare for the challenges facing our own species. Perhaps with this knowledge we can avoid the fate of our extinct relatives. Section 8. The Future of Our Species The future of Homo sapiens is uncertain. However, one thing is clear. Our species is facing a number of challenges. These challenges include climate change, population growth, and resource depletion. These challenges are complex and interconnected. They will require innovative solutions. However, our species is also capable of great things. We are a species with a remarkable capacity for innovation, creativity, and cooperation. If we can harness these qualities, we can overcome the challenges we face and create a better future for all. Section 9. A Never-Ending Story The history of human evolution is a story that is still being written. New discoveries are being made all the time. These discoveries are providing us with a more complete understanding of our past. As we continue to learn more about our origins, we are also gaining a better understanding of who we are and what we are capable of achieving. The journey of human evolution is a reminder that we are all connected. We are all part of a single, interconnected web of life. By understanding our past, we can create a better future for ourselves and for all living things. It is a future where humanity continues to evolve. It is a future where we reach our full potential. 